This continuation from part one, this is how to identify whether or not you are actually getting a good deal or need to negotiate with the seller who may be selling you an item locally. This is, of course, assuming you, you have seen a benchmark of the graphics card, have tested it, made sure that it is functional. And before you go get the item, let's make sure that this is, in fact, a good deal. Earlier, we looked at pricing information and we found that when we clicked on completed items that you could find a list of sold items on eBay. But what that did not take into account of is that eBay charges a 12.9% fee to a seller. So of this, the seller gets approximately $90. So in order to take into account that, we can, I've created a spreadsheet, which will be linked in the description that you can use, make a copy of, put in your prices here. If you want to include shipping, you can. I just left it in there in case you wanted to. This will be the total price that was paid, the price minus shipping. And then this will be taking into account seller fees. And down here, you can get an average. Make sure these extra boxes have nothing in them. But as you can see here, I went through and picked out. So this was uh, 104. We'll change this to 104. And we'll see what will happen here. And we have two 120s. We have an 89 and a 99. And again, shipping is not necessary, but if you want to include it, you can. Now, what the seller actually gets is here, and then the average is here. So what this tells me is that most eBay sellers are only making like $92 on selling this MSI Aero GTX 1060. Ergo, $100 is too much. So I might try to negotiate with the person, maybe offer them 90, maybe them offer 85, whatever you're comfortable with. But now you at least have a factually based record of what is act an actual retail price. So I hope you use this. Like I said, it'll be linked in the description. Fill it out. You can get up to about 15 different prices if you really want to do it. You may not need that many, but again, you can use eBay to get as many prices as you want and fill this out. And then it'll give you a very accurate representation of what your particular technology is that you are researching. You could do CPUs, GPUs, motherboards, memory, whatever, anything, as long as you fill it out correctly, it will take the average for you and give you what the sellers would traditionally be making.